hey guys hey guys welcome back to another review hope everybody's doing good so guys today review is going to be on this whole thing that we see going on on social media between harry shanti gracie lorian and all of them guys oh no remember when auntie d said that social media is going to turn upside down and she was fasting and praying guys it really worked you know fast and prayer really work because look what is going on now everybody is turning on everybody I, I there's no loyalty in what's going on here when you really look at it harry done played all of them and it's funny how harry was the one in the background and harry is the one that's giving each and every one of them information but my question to these individuals are why why do everyone believe that the information or the informations that they're getting from harry was credible mm -hmm. that's the question that i'm gonna raise today guys why all of them think that the information and all the info that they were getting from Harry with Harry was accurate because as far as I see it, the one common denominator in all of these texts and messages and voice notes that's going around is Harry. Harry sent Ashanti a whole bunch of bogus information that are untrue and inaccurate and he also sent Gracie information. She said it on her live that she him sent her woolly things. Even Bulldog, I him did tell her, say, Bulldog, that's Bulldog in the video. Harry was the one who told Gracie that Bulldog, that Lorraine was not in, in, was not in Jamaica, but indeed she was in Florida in Maxine's basement. Hmm. Now... Harry goes around and he gives these information out. And they believe. How gullible, huh? They believe these things. But why do they put so much credit and so much trust and so much belief in Harry? What's, what's the reason? Ashanti did it with all the information that Harry sent. Ashanti, all the false information about Auntie D. He accepted, accepted all those information with open arms and he put them on his platform and talk about it and have numerous live shows about it and about them without any accuracy at all or confirming the accuracy of these things right gracie did the same thing harry is now saying that a lot of her skits he was the one that gave her ideas and whatever but in all in all lorraine has re incarcerate <laughs> she's back she's back from the dead where did she go i don't know but she was a little she was on the low low mm -hmm. but now she's back she's back in full colors i hope though i hope to god that these people don't give her the strength that she can revive and come back with all those shenanigans she was going on with before because she was the one who started all of this on social media she was the one who started on auntie d and then all of a sudden i shan't pick it up and then everybody else pick it up so she was the ringleader in all of this she was the ringleader now it come for sure say all of a sudden harry come out of nowhere when everybody find out who was harry gracie was the first one who put out harry picture that's how we know who was Harry. Mm-hmm. That's how we know who was Harry. And then after that, she started sharing Harry videos, sharing Harry live streams, and all of that. And then we all become to know that that is Harry. Right? Now, Harry has apologized on his live to Auntie Donna. He apologized for all the inaccurate information that he sent to Ashanti about her that he was sorry and he apologized and she's the only person she would apologize he would apologize to because he admits a window did wrong anyhow when it comes to him and gracie harry seemed to have a very soft spot for gracie 
they had their running in they had their little altercation before because gracie came out and she played some videos not videos but voice notes where you hear harry speaking very ill of her he disrespected her and i'm like wow is this the same guy that was on his live saying that them two are friends and they talk for long and they talk till one drop asleep sometimes or sometimes him drop asleep or gracie drop asleep first mm -hmm. wait if if it's if it's come to that point where only the phone for so long that means there must have been some type of relationship i said it in my prior video and i'll stick with that they have some type of they have a mutual agreement then is it a them, if them is not friends, them close to friends, cause um, the only person we just sleep on the phone with, I uh, 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 must my other partner, or you know, you know, sit on the phone with, lie on the phone, just sleep on the phone with people. Want to talk about stuff, but anyway, that's not that's not important. But what I'm saying is, the voice note that she played with those videos, those those recording never sound good and that may have been when he was in lorraine's camp mm -hmm. but he also said while he was in lorraine camps he was also talking to gracie and he was also sending information to ashanti so maybe after he came out of lorraine camp and the camp fall down him start sending information to ashanti ashanti start put out the things then but what i'm seeing right now is everybody going against everybody it's like voice note i put out everybody had that short voice note one had a short voice note had a short record and a short picture everybody is throwing out everything on everybody so it leads us to believe was this a circle just one big old circle of a big happy family <laughs> Was it a circle of big happy family? Was Lorraine, Ashanti, Gracie, Harry, all of them, the main ones, were they all one big happy family that just happened to, you know, you know, when something happened in one family, everybody just split them ways and go them ways. Because it seemed to me they all connected some way, somehow. Mm -hmm. They all connected somehow. To the point where it's almost like, what's really going on here? It gets so confusing now, right? Because it's almost like, what are they fighting for again? Um, Why are they arguing? Why are they bickering? Why are they going neck to neck with each other? Why? Why? Because when Lorraine started this whole thing, she was on Auntie D's case. And charity, and then it automatically went over onto Auntie D personal life and personal business at first lorraine was saying she kicking down charity and she do all of the things them to charity and that, that was our goal but somewhere along the line things changed and she started to talk about and the personal personal business personal life so now she's saying that she's apologizing yeah lorraine says she would apologize to Auntie D because she had she cussed her out personally and she actually did feel bad about that part she said she don't feel bad about talking about the charity but she feel bad say she um disrespected auntie d certain way personally she said she had to cry about it and she should not apologize but but she don't want nobody to say she is them footstool so when i understand that is either gonna apologize because you really sincerely feel like you shouldn't have said what you said or you're not gonna apologize but it's up to her let's see what the future holds we never know what may happen because you see what's going on right now everybody is at each other throat ashanti is at gracie throat Harry, I wouldn't say Harry is at Gracie throat, but they have their past altercations and then become back friends, obviously, because the voice note that Gracie play are some real disrespectful voice note. And I think she was playing that to prove the point that she and Harry not have planned off for the now. 
But I, then again, that was in the past. Those voice notes were before she and Harry turned friends or acquaintances or colleagues. That was those were before. So those voice notes when she came out and played with Harry at dog or upon a call her all type of things and I call her this and that market to man and all type of things which was not nice and uncalled for. How did you become friends with that person after that? I don't understand it. How did you become friends with that person after that? Why? Because you're sending you information? Because you feel like you're getting some type of um, exclusive info from them? So you decide to befriend them back? And now on a follow-up again, you're putting out voice notes? Okay, well, Harry seems like even though Gracie put out all those voice notes about what he's saying and all of that, he still refuses to... Like, he don't want to. Because he's saying that he has voice notes as well. And he can put out information as well. And he can let out everything as well. Conversations that he and Gracie have. But he don't want to. Mm -hmm. He said, out of everybody on social media, that he have anything going on with right now, Gracie is the only one that he just can propel himself to disrespect her a certain way. Or let out certain things or put certain information out there certain way against her maybe to me it's not like he have a soft spot for her or him care for her some way he you know he he basically said she's the only way, one that he wouldn't want to come out on social media and disrespect and argue with it's like i'm come out and him take on ashanti and he come out and he rub rub um lorian rub her rub her rub her Gracie is the only one that she, that he wouldn't do that to. That was his words. And while that's a good thing, we don't know the reason why. Maybe he just genuinely like her or maybe there's something behind it. Whatever it may be, he said it out of his mouth that he don't want to come in social media and disrespect her like that. But him did already do it already via voice note. But whatever the case may be, you know, sometimes... Friendship can mend. People can get past things. That's both him and Gracie's um business. But what he's confused about, he's saying that Gracie is not innocent. No. We don't know who is innocent and who is guilty. Because we don't really know for sure who is doing what and what is doing who. So, he's saying that Gracie is on her life acting all innocent and she is not innocent. Because apparently she spoke about people with him as well. Now, if you ask me, there are no loyalty. Nobody have any loyalty for anybody. And some of them just do it for the views. Like we all do things for the views, of course. But some of them seem like they're just doing things for the views and doing things for the attention. And because all this right now, it started off with Auntie D. That's how it started off. If everybody want to be frank and honest, this all started off surrounding Auntie D. Lauren came out, talked bad about Auntie D. Then Ashanti jumped on the bandwagon. Then you have Harry in the background. We have feed everybody with information. He said information north, east, south, and west. So he was like the main man. He's like the man that supply them with the goods. And then they come on the platform and rant and talk and do whatever they feel for do but the question is still the question that i still have is what make harry so credible <laughs> what make all these people think that the informations that they were getting from harry was holy grail why do these people think that what he was sending them was accurate and so important and we did like get the things in for harry so you know say you know everybody was getting the things in for harry harry is like <laughs> he's like the man who he he he's just playing them all like a pawn you know you have the chess game he's he him just play them point blank period I, I listen listen guys it doesn't matter what nobody says all of them not get played but at the end of the day, what's the end result? What is the end game? 
Don't we all want to see what's the end game? Hmm? What is the end game? Is Ashanti going to continue talking about Auntie D till the day I die? Because in the fan social media looking feeble and weak. Oh my goodness. The man look weak. The man look weak. Like he would not drink some. He would not take some hot soup right now and some calm meat porridge. Maybe they go say banana or oats, but no, some nice thick calm meat porridge. It look like that's what he need. Honestly. Honestly to God, I wish he would stop and refocus. Focus on himself. He lives in America where there's endless possibilities. There's so much that you can do instead of sit down and do a seven hour life a day or a six hour life. That's your all that's your whole day. That's basically a whole work day. My God. And you sit on your life all day and you speak about Auntie D. Auntie D, Auntie D, Auntie D, Auntie D, Auntie D. Every day, all day, right? And not take good care of yourself. Because you come on the life looking weak. Sometimes he comes on the life looking like he's feeling pain. Sometimes he comes on the life looking like his stomach is empty. And it is so sad. It's so sad and it's hard to look at. But if that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. As for Lorraine, she had eased up. We haven't heard much of her for some time now. I guess if you film start follow stop following her shenanigans because she know she don't really speak anything with sense to be honest. She's just I wouldn't call her mad, but she 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 don't have no substantial or nothing will make sense. So I could never understand why people sit on her life and watch her. I think what she does is she has to have a calling because if she doesn't have a calling, then there's no show. If you don't have somebody anchoring the show, then the show cannot go on. There's no substance. There's no. There's nothing to it. Nobody would sit and watch her. But because the viewers that are calling in, that help to hold her show up. But she has nothing to say. She absolutely has nothing to say more than to talk about Auntie D just to see him. No, Harry. As for Harry, Harry seems very intelligent. Let me say, Harry sounds very intelligent and trust me, very cunning. He sound very cunning. If you're not careful, if you're not careful with Harry, <laughs> Harry can ring you around. If you're not careful with, with Harry, he can ring you around his finger, his little finger, his ten fingers. He can just wheel around it if you're not careful, if you're not smart. Because look what he did to Ashanti. Look. Look what he did to Ashanti. And Ashanti didn't even think for a minute to say, let me vet my information. Let me see where these information are coming from. Let me see how accurate these is. These are. No, because he was so eager to talk about the topic, which is Anti D, right? Anti D. Now, Harry, seeing for the man, will supply everybody with the goods. I aim of the good things, them. <laughs> No, I aim of the good things them. Everybody said, I'm getting the information. I'm getting some good information from good, reliable, credible source. You know who that is? Jumroll Harry. So now that Harry comes out, everybody is 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 like, okay, now Harry's out. Now what? Because now Harry come out and Harry bring out him receipts. I was I was sending information to Ashanti. I was sending information and I was sending things to Gracie. I was in the background with Lorraine. Besides, that was the camp that he was on. And now I'm out here. Here I am. And he's letting every because he and Harry is no, he and Ashanti are no longer friends or we are called teammates. Him and Lorraine are no longer teammates. And it almost looks like him and um, Gracie is going down the same track that he and the other two are. Mm -hmm. Whatever is going on, I don't know. But guys, this needs to stop. At some point, there needs to be an end. Like, we don't know what's the ending going to be. <laughs> or what is really the end. 
or what is this what, what all of this riff for because it becomes so blurred now it's almost like okay now harry and gracie going back and forth together well who is harry and gracie going back and forth because harry's not arguing with gracie to if if we want to be fair and honest he's not arguing with her he's not so we can't say they're going back and forth technically gracie's addressing some things that she deemed necessary to address and harry is responding based off of what gracie put out there because honestly when aria argue aria argue when you hear when you argue when you know when you argue when you hear when you know when you argue when you take on somebody you take on somebody so i wouldn't say he's arguing with gracie what i would say is that gracie is dishing out some things and some info mm -hmm. because even with the window we all think think we all thought that it was the little man 360 but come to understand that it may not have been him even though when the allegations were out there that it was him he never denied it instead he laughed and cackled and giggled but then all of a sudden when he and harry followed he's the first one to say harry are you the child come out and talk but you were owning it the whole time 360 you weren't denying it you weren't coming at 11 and saying no it's not me no spread the roof upon me no you was basically accepting the allegations but as soon as you and harry followed you come out and you start threatening to come and talk to him no apparently apparently gracie knew who broke the window in december that was her words the window broke in october and she knew who broke it in december she said it was with harry she said i him do it well we don't know how true or how accurate or if that's you know so we're gonna say allegedly allegedly she knew or found out in december that it was harry who brought the window now my thing is you found out from december okay cool but you never said anything until now that you and him followed you understand so it's almost like what's going on here uh what's going it's like a a big yard of people where it was all good friends until Everybody start turn from each other and start bite up one another. Um, but guess what? Auntie D did say it. She did say she never going to pray. Nobody no much. She's going to just pray and fast and fast and pray. Because she's going to live to see everybody on that platform where I discuss her, talk about her, bring her down, whoever said I'm going to do this and whoever said I'm going to do that. She's going to watch to see the day when they all turn from them each other. And guys, isn't this confirmation this is more than confirmation because they're all bickering they're all at each other's necks right now and the question is for what guys if you know for what <laughs> if you know for what put it in the comment section we know Lauren just offsets Ashanti obsession number two. Ashanti mad cause no charity money now going and catch up on his deal no more. And and Lorian just mad cause she mad and she just mad and she just mad. Come in and see where she has the a big fine wherever she did a fight and I worry about the charity for how that help her, how that benefit her, I don't know. So we just can pinpoint her. Mm -hmm. As for Harry, I don't know what his game is. I want him to play. I want him to do. I want him to try to find out in the midst of all of this. Because in all of this, he's the only one that's really... Him, him they just did it. I feed everybody with information. Him then at the back like, I'm not loyal to you. 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 I'm just here. And I'm the middleman. And I'm just giving the goods out. And that's it. And when I give you the goods, you do what you want to do with it. And that's it. <laughs> oh, it's funny because these people actually, these people actually believe and put their trust in everything that they get from Harry. So Harry, go on with yourself because more I know, I know about yourself. But whatever it is, they truly have their trust in you 
and they truly believe whatever you told them was the holy grail so pat yourself on the shoulder for that but you should have never do it with auntie d but as far as i can see you turn all of these people into one piece of puppy show because you're like there and they're like the puppet on the string you have them on your finger you take this you take this this is what's going on that's what's going on that's going on here that's going on there go on your life talk about it go on your life do this go on your life do that that was you yeah like the real boss man in the middle of all of this <laughs> sad to say but i'm just saying it how i see it so guys if you can't really put your finger up on it and figure out what's the reason for all of this hmm? remember this all started over one lady where they are jamaica i do our own thing sell our cakes go out with ourselves take care of our business and i live our good happy life and all these people on social media trying one way or another to you know discredit her but when it all comes down to the end and the integrity them only are discredit themselves that's all they're doing nobody is honest with each other nobody is loyal to each other and i just feel that they are all having conversations with each other they have they, all of them have each other number and they, all of them are having conversations but what is the game that they're playing what 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 is, what is the outcome supposed to be and what is going to be the outcome when will this when will this all be done like when will all of this just vanish disappear and done with because it really don't make no sense if you ask me it not add up and it not make no sense to be honest but guys we're gonna wrap it up here and thank you so much for listening another review let me hear what you guys think in the comment section it's there for you guys so whatever you think let your thoughts be heard you can put it in the comment in the comment section you can conversate amongst yourself and again guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you can bye